The following is a production of New Mexico State University. When we set out to create a game about science, the most important thing was that the content be strong, that it be accurate, that it reflect the best practices of teaching science. It introduces observations and hypotheses and variables in a way that I've never been able to do before. Teachers have been thrilled. It gives them another tool in their arsenal to, to engage kids, to get them hooked on science. The first task was to take something as complex as experiment design and make it fun. What we did was we broke experiment design into different pieces, hypothesis, independent, dependent variables, other vocabulary. We wove those into a fun and interesting game. Um, it was really interesting to see that the kids were enjoying the game so much that they didn't realize they were learning it. The kids absolutely love Science Pirates. Their question now is, when are we going to play Pirates again? When can we get the computers out and play Pirates again? These teachers have worked with the developers, and this is a game that's really going to excite your children. We're able to take science and blend it with a really goofy pirate theme and make it very entertaining and uh, so that kids keep coming back and wanting to play it more and more, whether or not they know they're learning. And it just really engages the kids and all the graphics and the ho 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 and they get to pick their pirate. The game is uh, very appropriate for this age group. We created really fun and exciting experiments for the kids to play through. Um, it was a great chance to get the pirate theme into the game and to just really draw the kids in. They, they love shooting at sea monsters. They really got into it, especially the monkeys and the monsters and the ghosts. They love that kind of stuff. You, know, you can find out what cleans the deck best. Dead fish? Is it pineapple juice? Crazy characters and a cook with two peg legs. Um, kids don't always know they're learning when they're playing these games. Like they may think they're in a you know battle on the high seas with cannons and sea monsters, but they're actually learning how to isolate variables. We were able to combine science within a pirate adventure in a way that kids have a good time while they're learning. One of our biggest challenges with this game was creating something that was not only fun to play, but something that met our educational objectives. Something that once kids were done playing it they could convey knowledge on the subject, that they had really learned what we were setting out to teach them. We had an independent evaluator come in and he demonstrated that the game is effective, that it teaches everything we wanted it to teach. And that's, what, that's why this game is so useful, because it really meets the needs of the teachers who know what the needs of their students are. Well, the quality of this game is phenomenal, and it definitely will meet those standards that you need to meet. The kids are working through the games themselves, doing problem solving. And this is, so it's engaging the um, higher levels of thinking. The wonderful thing about it is when they do labs, the kids are using the vocabulary in the appropriate way. So it carries over. It's not just a game. It carries over into their, the rest of their curriculum. Our testing shows that Science Pirates is effective, and not just for science concept understanding, but answering questions about experiment design, uh, variable isolation, hypothesis formation, science vocabulary, and doing so on a standardized type pencil and paper exam. I was just talking to a sixth grade teacher who said, you should go to this website and download this game because it really works. It keeps them engaged, it keeps them active, and it's free. <laughs> you can't beat that. It's fun and it works. The preceding was a production of New Mexico State University. The views and opinions in this program are those of the author and do not necessarily represent the views and opinions of the NMSU Board of Regents.